What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, so it's another Tuesday Tutorials. I was wondering what I wanted to do and show because my girlfriend keeps telling me I should make um, basically just all the videos that there is out there, just how to do everything, like how to do masks, how to add music, how to uh, add a transition, you know, all, all these things. And I, and I want to do that too, but there's just so many of those videos out there and I want to make videos that about Video Leap that aren't out there. So I feel like I've only seen one video like this out here, out there, and it really didn't explain a lot to me. I actually didn't even understand what they were doing in it um, until now that I figured out how to do uh, color grading in Video Leap. I was like, oh, that, that makes sense. He was just showing us how without, there was no talking or I, there, I mean, there might've been texts on the bottom. I'm not sure. But anyways, today's video is showing you how to color grade in Video Leap. I don't like when the peas do that. So today's video is about color grading in Video Leap. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get started. We'll pull up Video Leap, and I already have a project in here with nothing on it. Um, I might have—I was thinking about doing the Santa stock video that I found in here, but we're just going to use a video that I recorded with my drone. Rest in peace. So let's just quickly get into it. Um, the video, super simple. It's just a little droney video of the drone backing up, showing the surroundings. You know that cool little shot that it does. And this is the little love statue that we have in our Scottsdale uh, library or civic center area. I'm not sure what, what area this is. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Let me just get rid of this. We don't need it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so color grading is pretty simple. Um, if you just go all the way to the right when you don't, if you're not clicked in on the clip or anything like that, you have to just have nothing selected and go all the way to the right. You'll see tone lab over here and, um, you just basically pick, press tone lab and you pick the color that you want to start messing with. Say, let's, let's just say this blue right here. Look at that. Now you got it purple or you can bring it out a little bit more. So what I like to do is just bring it out a little more um, and then, you know, change the saturation so that it is a little more brighter. Um, and then you can, you know, you can wash it out a little bit, you know, fade it down with the luminance or bring it back up. Um, but we'll just leave it there. And then you can go to the red and change that if you wanted to. But like most skin tones and things are red too, so it's kind of hard to mess with the reds. Um, and this, you can't be selective in here, really, I don't believe. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep the red kind of how it is. Maybe make it saturate a little bit more. It's a little brighter. And then we'll lastly do the greens real quick. As you can see, it changes. You can make it a little more yellow or make it a little more green, saturate that up as well. And then now when you play it, I mean, it's just a little, you know, we can delete that, boom, you can see, and then bring it back. Delete, bring it back. It just adds a little bit more color. And before, you know, I didn't really know how to do that. I just thought you could, you know, you couldn't change the color or anything in here, um, just because it's called Tone Lab instead of like color grading. Um, but that's just how you do it. If you back up a little more, let's see, let's go back to these blues. So yeah, you can even change the water back there too. I just like to keep things more natural and then just like pump up the saturation a bit on certain colors. Uh, we can even go back to the green. Just makes it a little brighter as you can see. Um, but you can also change the tone of that too to make it more natural. That looks a little bit better to me. Um, you know, now this video is just a little bit more bright. Um, we can also go to the clip itself and add its own saturation but it just saturates the whole clip and it's really intense so you can I just barely ever use that um, maybe bring the brightness out just a bit because everything is everything in this app is just like super intense uh, that's the one thing I've noticed it's not subtle at all um, and then I always bring the vibrance up a little bit as well um, and if the clips too warm you can always cool it down a bit or warm it up but I just like to leave the temp on this one as it is and then after you do all that um, you can always add in like a filter as well and that's you know you can still see look at that the, the red and the blue are still like shining through um, but my favorite filter to use is this one for some reason and I just bring it down to like 20 or 30 and it kind of like adds a little bit of a fade to it because that's one thing that you can't do on here is add a fade I mean you can take the contrast down a little bit and that kind of does that but uh, I just like this filter um, and as you can see, everything just looks a little brighter, a little greener, a little bit more blue, and um, yeah, looks a lot better in my opinion. 
But uh, yeah, so that's pretty simple. Um, you know, play with it all you want, play with it as much as you can, and as, you know, just because the more you mess with it, the more you'll see like what you're what you're able to do. Um, I wasn't using that function at all before, but um, I just recently started using it, and I noticed that you can like change like certain things, like this light behind me. You know, since it's like bluish purple in the video, I could just pick on the purple, and then I could change it to you know whatever colors it's changing to right now behind me. But if it was in the red mode. Um, you know, like I said, it might change my skin tone just a little bit when changing that just because you can't be selective like in, you know, Final Cut or whatever, uh, where you can like actually like pick certain spots of the video and change that. But you know, it's a really good app for being able to do what it does. Like I said, I didn't know you even could color grade in it. And I just recently uh, discovered that you could. There's not a lot of videos out there about how to do it. So I really hope that this video helped you in like brightening up your videos a little bit, making the colors a little bit more vibrant, or having fun with it and changing things completely, you know, and messing with the colors and making it look not normal because that's fun too when you're trying to do like fun edits and things. So um, I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you're into, um, you know, weekly tutorials, I make a tutorial every Tuesday and I try to post like fun videos like my broken drone one, story times, and then, you know, um, I'm still trying to stick to my self-help things a little bit. Um, it's just been, a lot going on with the business, uh, wearing one of the shirts right now that we sell up on our store, um, ouchymamas.com, and I'll have the link down in the description below. Um, go ahead and check that out and you know, purchase some of our beautiful jewelry um, that we have here. Uh, oh yeah, listen to that. These are all real stones, healing stones, and we have two beads on every single bracelet. Uh, one for gratitude and one to send love to another so you're always wearing love and gratitude on your wrist It's a great gift. Um, it's a great gift idea super simple not expensive and people love it So yeah, check that out. We have the link in the description down below That's what we've been working on lately that and videos and you know, just trying to um, survive right now So go ahead and um, subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment, please and I'll see you guys soon. Peace